In the clinical laboratory, coagulation problems are investigated by two separate yet equally important groups, the technologists who perform the tests and the hematopathologists who interpret the results. This is their story. A 25-year-old woman presents to her family physician with iron deficiency anemia. Clinical history reveals recurrent nosebleeds and heavy menstrual periods that keep her home from work regularly. Family history is positive for her sister, mother, and maternal aunt, all having heavy periods as well. Based on the clinical history, the family physician suspects a bleeding disorder and requests the following tests. The complete blood count and peripheral blood film revealed hypochromic microcytic anemia with normal platelets and white blood cells. The PTINR was normal, but the PTT was prolonged, and the fibrinogen was normal. The technologist consults you after receiving the physician's request for these other tests. Factors 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 10, 5, and 2. But there's not enough plasma to do all the factor assays ordered. Are all these tests necessary, asks the technologist. How do you proceed? At this point, you're also suspecting a hereditary bleeding disorder. Only the PTT is elevated and there's not enough sample for all the factor assays ordered. A normal INR excludes a problem in the extrinsic pathway and a common pathway. Since only the PTT is prolonged, the deficient factor is most likely in the intrinsic pathway. Therefore, you cancel the following tests. Factors 7, 10, 5, and 2. But wait, you can also cancel factor 12 because factor 12 deficient patients do not bleed. So now there are only three factor assays left. Factors 11, 9, and 8. However, hereditary factor 8 and 9 deficiency are inherited as X-linked bleeding disorders, which means hemophilia is unlikely in this 25-year-old woman and her female relatives, and factor 11 deficiency is also rare. Let's take a step back and review the history again. The patient has recurrent nosebleeds and heavy menstrual periods. Her mom, sister, and maternal aunt are also affected. The bleeding symptoms means mucocutaneous bleeding, and the inheritance pattern appears to be autosomal dominant. Primary hemostatic disorders are caused by abnormal platelet or von Willebrand factor level and function, and they are characterized by mucocutaneous bleeding. Remember the original testing requested did not include von Willebrand factor level and function. So as the consultant hematopathologist, you can add VWF antigen level and function testing to the orders. Why is the PTT elevated then? Von Willebrand factor carries factor 8 in plasma to protect it from degradation. Low VWF may therefore lead to low factor 8, thus prolonging the PTT. So in this case, you would proceed with testing the factor 8 level as well. Thanks to the dedicated technologist and your consultation as the hematopathologist, a diagnosis of von Willebrand's disease was made and the patient was referred to the hematologist for management. We did it. We solved the case. Created using Powtoon.